Today we are going to be talking about my top three favorite large brush pens. Now, if you're like me, some people just like to write huge and that's totally fine. I absolutely love to write and take up a ton of space. So if you're like me, then large brush pens are for you. So let's jump right into it with my number three favorite brush pen. That is going to be the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. So first off, Tombow is a well-established company and they have a good reputation for having great products. So that's always good to know when getting brush pens because sometimes the pens that you can get have really cheap nibs and they're not going to last too long. So we know that Tombow is a reputable company and we can trust them. So first off, these come in a huge variety of colors, which I absolutely love and I think I own just about every single color they have. The nib also bounces back well with these, but not quite the best. That's why these are number three for me because I think that the nibs sometimes vary and if you use them for a little while, they tend to get frayed. These are easy to use for beginners, so that's another great thing about these. These also come in a ton of different curated sets. They have basic colors, galaxy colors, pastel colors. They have a ton of different curated sets, so if you're looking for certain colors, you can find great sets that they have made themselves with different colors. But just beware that some of the colors you get will overlap in some of the other sets. So just check to see what colors come in them first. Another great thing about Tombos is that they are easy to find. They have them in so many different stores now. You can find them on Amazon. I even found them at Walmart, I believe. So it's great that they are easily accessible for people all over when I know that some other pens are not as easily accessible. These are also a two-sided pen, hence the dual brush pen. So it also has a bullet nib as well, which is perfect for adding small details. Or if you bullet journal, you can write with just the bullet nib. And as I mentioned before, it's a well-established company. And I think that means a lot in the brush pen world because if you buy from a company you don't know of sometimes it's just cheap garbage just being honest so Tombow is a very well established company and they have tons of good reviews on these okay so moving on to number two these are the Royal Talons Ecoline brush pens. So first off, it's just different writing with these. I don't think there's any that are similar to it. They are like in their own category, but that's what I love about them. First off, they write extremely smooth. So. It's really nice because there's not that resistance with the paper, it just glides. I also love how these allow you to create a super thick downstroke, probably one of the thickest that I have been able to do with brush pens. They also are a very juicy brush pen. And I always cringe when I say that word, but I don't know how else to describe it except for that. And that is one thing that I do like about them is that they have a lot of ink when you're writing with them. So along with that comes the fact that they are easy to blend. Because they stay wet for so long, it makes it easy to blend multiple different colors together. 
these also have a ton of different colors and I like how they coincide with Royal Talons Eco Line liquid watercolors. So they have a line of liquid watercolors as well and the colors match identical to these brush pens. So it's really nice that they have that as well. The colors with these are super vibrant and I think that's why Tombow was rated 3 and these are rated 2 is because these colors just pop off the page. And coming in at number 1 is none other but Karen Markers and specifically I'm talking about the Brush Marker Pro. So if you know me you know that I absolutely love Karen Markers and no this is not sponsored or anything like that. I just really love the markers. So with these, the nib bounces back super easily, no matter how much you use it, it gives a good, strong nib bounce back, and that is what can make or break a pen for me, because that will determine how long the pen will last. If your nib does not bounce back, it makes it very difficult for calligraphy. So this is one of the reasons why these are the absolute best for beginners because of that nib bounce back. When you're first learning, if your nib is not bouncing back, it's not giving you that feedback on the paper and with these you get that feedback which is super important when you're learning how to do those thin upstrokes. If you're interested in learning more about calligraphy, I have a free calligraphy basics class which includes some worksheets so I'll link that down below if you're interested now these are another pen that has really juicy ink which is something that I absolutely love and it's a must-have for me because I do a lot of blending so these actually have what's called a liquid ink technology which allows you to use the pen up until the last drop so you can see there's actually a chamber and you can see the liquid and I have had mine for over three years and they are still going strong and it looks like I've hardly even used any ink. So Karen Markers also has a ton of colors and they are super vibrant. They also have a neon line. And also like I have mentioned before, these last forever and that's why I feel like they are the best brush pen because they are so versatile and they last you a long time. Now I know that people are going to say that they're a little bit pricier and yes, they are pricier but I feel like it's an investment that's worth it because these pens will last you a lot longer than if you were to just buy the cheap brush pens. You're going to go through those real quick and you're going to have to get new ones because of the nibs. There's just so much that you can do with these and I will link some of my other videos that have to do with Karen markers and different techniques that you can use with them just because they are so versatile. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me to be able to make more videos for you guys. So do you guys agree with my top three or let me know down below what your top three large brush pens are. I'm interested to hear and maybe there's some that I've never heard of before.